Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Michelle. Today is going to be a chakra balancing flow. Um, so, you know, if you believe in the chakras, great. If not, this flow can still be really beneficial. So the chakras are kind of energy systems throughout the body and sometimes they can get blocked. So a lot of times we practice yoga to release those blocks to create some balance in the body. And um, I don't know about you, but sometimes my life can get a little helter-skelter mentally, physically, emotionally. So just balancing the chakras can really help. So we will be going from the root chakra all the way up through the crown chakra um, for a really quick practice. Some may be a little harder than others and, you know, just take it um, at whatever you can. I'll try to show as many modifications as possible. So all you need is a mat and we'll go ahead and get started seated. So we're going to begin seated in our Muladhara chakra, our root chakra. So we're sitting down, moving the flesh away from the sits bones. The hands can be palms down. Let's do that actually for more grounding today. So you can sit here, closing the eyes, relax the shoulders, feeling the length through the spine, really feeling that connection to the earth. That firm foundation, that stability. Breathe in. Out. Then just noticing the breath, noticing the body. Trying to make this a moving meditation, connecting the breath with movement. Clearing out the mind of all distractions. Allow yourself to be here and now for yourself. Then flutter the eyes open. Make your way into your tabletop position. So knees right underneath the hips, hands under the shoulders for gentle cat cow. We'll do this four times. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to chest, round it up. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to chest. One more. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, come to neutral spine, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So we're not going to play movement in this down dog. We really want to find that, again, that root connection. So notice the feet are firmly planting all four corners, the palms as well. Spread the fingers really wide and engage with the pads of the fingers. Let's breathe here for two more breaths. Finding length through the spine. Exhale, more connection to the earth. One more breath in. And out, gaze the top of the mat. Slow step forward, forward fold. And so again, you notice the connection of the feet slowly begin to rise up. One vertebra at a time, shoulders and head to the flat. So just take two simple side stretches. Wrap one hand behind the back, inhale, lift up, exhale, side stretch, stay connected to the feet, inhale, center. Exhale, release, inhale, reach up, exhale, three at a time, inhale up. Bring the hands to the heart, exhale, sit back into chair pose. So keep your feet hip width distance, for this first chair pose, weight is in the heels, heart is lifted. Deep breath in. So again, notice that root chakra. We're going to make our way up into our sacral chakra, sacral chakra, Svadhisthana. This is the area of emotion, creativity, and risk taking. So maybe you need to cultivate that today. So take a deep breath in as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into your high plank, take a breath in, exhale, go or flow to your downward facing dog. Take a breath in as you exhale, step that right foot forward, so off the back foot, rising up, warrior one. So we're just going to do this flow one time, so we'll hold the poses for three to five breaths. So you can rotate in, relax the shoulders, and lift the heart. Inhale, and as you exhale, open up for warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Feeling that stability with our root grounding chakra and that creativity and risk taking. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, make your way into your half moon pose here. Opening up. If you want, maybe find Chavasana. Grab the foot, and then kick the foot into the hand to open the heart a little bit. Inhale, and as you exhale, come to your standing split. So do four Kundalini's descent. Inhale, and as you exhale, Kundalini's. Inhale, so maybe you keep the hands grounded. Maybe you bring one hand to the heart. Maybe you bring both hands to the heart. We've got one more. Then exhale, come all the way down into our seated twist. 
Now again, if flexibility allows, maybe you find that connection with the hands through the leg. Staying rooted, staying grounded. Inhale, exhale. Inhale back through center, go or flow, downward facing dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, set the left foot forward, rising up, warrior one. Really press through that back heel, square the hips, raise the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, and as you exhale, open out, warrior two, relax the shoulders, gaze over that front middle finger. So keeping the same grounding, make your way into your half moon pose, holding up. So again, stay here, maybe find Chavasana. Grab the top foot, kick the foot into the hand, fully open up through the chest, through the top. Breath in, exhale, standing splits. Inhale, and as you exhale, release. We've got three more, so again, maybe one hand comes to the heart, maybe both hands. Maybe you stay grounded. One more breath in, exhale, lower all the way down, and come to that twist. So again, maybe you find the bind through the leg. Breathe in. One more, find that length. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, back through center. Go or flow, downward facing dog. So you can jump back, chaturanga. And down dog. So we're coming onto our knees just for a moment. We're going to roll out the wrists. So we're moving up into our body core chakra, or our navel chakra. So this is the area of willpower and is often associated with fire element. So we're going to be doing a, just some quick core movements from our down dog position. Now, if this is too hard, I'll show the modification first. So what we'll be doing in down dog, we'll lift one leg up. We'll bring knee to right knee, right elbow, inhale up, center, up, left elbow. So this is the modification. You're still going to be working through that core, and then of course you'll switch sides when we switch sides. You can try it first in the down dog position, and then you can increase it. So let's get into our down dog. Lift that right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee center. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, center. We've got four here on each side. Now you can stay with the down dog. You can come to all fours, or you can do it from a plank position. So lift that knee to the elbow. Extend, center, extend, left one more time, extend, elbow, extend, center, extend, left, downward facing dog. Same thing with that left side, inhale, left leg lifts high, left knee, left elbow, inhale up, center, up, to the right, up. one more time from our down dog position. Now you can stay in down dog, or we'll do the plank position. Elbow, center, extend, right. One more, left, center, elbow, and down dog. Gaze the hands, walk, step, or float to a seated position, coming into boat pose. So we're moving from boat into canoe. So extend up. Hands behind, lift the heart. So really engaging through the core, your back is nice and flat. You can keep the hands here as we lower and lift or extend the arms out. So just do four here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Hug the knees, lower all the way down. So now we're getting into our heart, heart chakra or Anahata Chakra. Of course, this is the area of love and compassion. So we're gonna start with bridge first. So feet right underneath the knees, palms beside the body, inhale, snuggle the shoulders, begin to lift the hips. Chin away from the chest, chest moving toward the chin, plenty of space between the neck. You want a little bit 
more, you can clasp the hands behind, lift the hips a little bit higher, keep the knees inside the frame of the body. Breathe in and out. Feet wide, knees together. So do that one more time. So you can either do bridge or wheel, whatever you feel like you need today. So bring the knees back in line with the hips. You're going to go to wheel, hands come behind. Lift up and try to straighten the legs and the arms. So you're trying to bring the heart through the shoulders. Breathe in. One more. Go all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest. Going into shoulder stand. So, if shoulder stand is not in your practice, you can always do legs up the wall for a gentle inversion. For shoulder stand, snuggle the shoulders down the back. Deep breath in as you exhale, lift the hips up. Immediately support the hips. Don't look to the left or to the right. So, you might want to watch this first. Extend the legs up, press the hips forward. Still plenty of space between the neck and the ground. Then slowly begin to lower the legs overhead for plow. Now if your feet do not touch the ground, keep your hands at your low back. If your feet touch, you can clasp your hands. You can tuck the toes here. That's fine. Traditionally, the toes are pointed to really allow energy to come up. Then slowly, with control, using the core, lower all the way down. And then place the hands under the hips. Let the feet float. Flex the feet. Where the feet touch, lift the heart up. For fish pose. One more breath. And lower all the way down, hug the knees. We're going to rock forward and back. Coming up to a seat, and we're working on our throat chakra. So it's our area of communication and healing. So we already opened it up in camel. We'll just do some fire breaths here. So bring the hands underneath. As you inhale, lift the elbows. As you exhale, open the mouth and go back. Four more. Inhale. Inhale. Last one. And then just lower the hands down, palms face up. Close the eyes. Noticing the area of the throat, the Vasudha chakra, this area of communication and healing. That's right here. Now we're going to work our way up into our third eye or our Ajna chakra. It's the area of intuition and understanding. So for here we're going to do an even part breath. You can bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. As you inhale, the belly lifts, the chest expands, comes all the way up, filling up the capacity of the lungs. As you exhale, the chest falls, the ribs knit together, that navel pulls in. Breathe in. Breathe out. So finding this even part, three part breath. Two more. And you can stay here in the seated position, hands up for center, or you can lie long on your mat for a traditional shavasana. So now we're working our way into our crown chakra, Saraswara, the place of enlightenment and transcendence. This is the area of thought, wisdom, understanding, and inspiration. So wherever you are, just begin to settle in to these ideas of the chakras. Maybe you don't agree with the chakras, but the concepts of them you can resonate with. I'm going to read a quote from BKS Iyengar, who is one of the uh, founding fathers of modern yoga and the father of Iyengar yoga. He says, yoga is like music, the rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, and the harmony of the soul creates the symphony of life. Bring your hands to heart center. The light in me sees the light in each of you. Namaste.